Good evening, folks. A frustrating morning was made a little bit worse by some commenters who I think are afraid of their own shadows at this point. Now, I was able to use my smartphone to post that video on my channel, which never went unavailable this morning. The only thing that came to some of their minds is, oh, they must have got him. This is it. It's all real. They took him out. Computers break, folks. When I say I understand the mainstream thinking we're all crazy, you need look no further than the comment section on this morning's video. By the way, I appreciate all those donation comments. Very humbling, but still, no donations allowed. Amazing what a difference 22 angstroms and some false color makes here. Images of our electric sun. Got a coronal hole on the south with significant size. NASA does believe it will be geo-effective. On the center of the sun, a thin dark plasma filament destabilized caused a few hours of hide or flare and coronal shifting. Here's a little close-up of that. It does not appear to have released a large coronal mass ejection. With that coronal hole, the new moon today and a slight uptick on the Central American subduction zone, my eyes are firmly set there and extending north and south along that zone as tends to occur after Caribbean and Cocos Plate upticks. The cosmic ray density is falling. You'll remember it was a little high the last few days. Top weather on Earth right now is Tropical Cyclone Evan, northeast of Australia, pounding Samoa and American Samoa. I have some catch up to do, so use the links below if you want some more detail. It's almost 6 p.m. Eastern Time, the observatory is up and running, and I'll see you in the morning. Be safe, everyone.